yo what is good guys it is grateful back here today with another video now this video is different than um my other style of videos like where i just get straight into something all that today i just wanted to make a simple tutorial video just to show y'all how um every other youtuber sets up my mba sets up career simulations sets up rebuilds just everything just the settings what to know blah blah because i know there's a lot of y'all out there um who want to do this and just you know it's the easy way to set it up and do everything so first of all i'm going to get into something that i do for my career sims and that is player dna so basically if you have a player that isn't in the nba nowadays um like all these players are here mj lebron kareem you know all these guys so what you could do is is you can edit them and you go into edit and then you put export player dna then you guys see i have ben simmons kd uh steph curry i have a lot here that just is saved because i want to have a lot of stuff like this was part of pistol p video or the pete maravich video whatever you want to call it that was um from like weeks ago this is like i have some videos planned with player dna in here like you know lebron kd like all that type of stuff so you could do that so i'll just make an example so this will just be like example one so you can save player dna i don't share it because i honestly could care less so i'm just gonna put example there we go just for the video and i will get back to that after i set up all the rest of the settings for the my mba and show you how to do that i'm just getting that out the way first because it's in features it's not in my mba so obviously go to my mba click new and it brings you into this screen um let's see how fast it loads it's different every single time sometimes it takes a while there we go so you could either go into the magic um magic bird era which is the 1980s jordan area jordan era which is the 1990s kobe era early 2000s and modern era now um kobe era i think is the most interesting to do i think is for like rebuilds all that it's just the most interesting because it's kind of modern but kind of throwback like you know what i'm trying to say like everything that we have now is kind of there but not there at the same time so it's different but magic and bird era i think is cool but there's just way too many ai players like that don't even exist so it, i don't know they can't they obviously can't get the rights for um joe who sat at the end of the bench but you know it, it's whatever at the end of the day so i'm going to show you all how to set up the modern era this is where i do most of my simulations and most of my rebuilds which i will do rebuilds in the future so don't even worry about that but um yeah this is where i will do most so here like if you want to do a fantasy draft put it on right here that's really the only thing that i um even touch right here i like to turn off the stepping rule in 30 60 90 if i'm trying to have a chill casual just i want to go into my league and play it in the background while i'm watching a podcast or while i'm watching a video something like that so i'll just do that um but like if you want to do a career sim don't even need to touch these i'm just gonna leave them on because who cares i don't need to touch these right now this is just a tutorial video um i don't touch nothing else unless you want to play my gm if you want to play my gm go with the role playing aspects i i don't care about it like, i'm not playing my gm nowadays so obviously from here you can go to any team that you want um doesn't matter which one i'm just gonna go with the jazz i guess because they are balling in real life right now so first of all it'll bring up this screen and you want to go to load draft class especially if you want to do like a sim to where you know it's 2023 victor webanyana blah 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 sorry if i'm going way too fast by the way but i just want to get this out to y'all as fast as i can um and this is the best draft class in my opinion the official detail 2023 draft class i'll show y'all real quick it has it updates a lot because victor webanyana obviously is usually number one scoot is number one in here but victor webinana is like 85 one week 84 one week scoots like a 78 79 like you know it updates a lot these guys periodically update this draft class throughout the whole year so that's what i like about this community about this my league community as y'all know i come from the park community or park my team whatever you want to call it because i mostly play my team anyway i don't even touch park nowadays i haven't touched park since i've done the last build video but that's something else for a whole different video that i'll probably bring out near the end of this month to where i just go in on 2k and just why the hell this game failed because even though the my league is good my nba like y'all see me i'm having fun on these videos i'm having fun but 
the park failed like career there is no doubt in my mind this was the biggest failure of 2k this year so i'm gonna bring out a video just talking about it i don't want to waste all time right here i'm trying to go through this as fast as i can for y'all um but yeah here's the drive class right here so for the coaching game plan you can adjust minutes in here like you can let the cpu build it out and there we go mike conley started and he was having zero minutes before for some reason but you can edit minutes all that doesn't matter this is you know if you want to have a realistic realistic simulation you can do that um obviously within here you can um edit every player you can if you hit start one time you can edit all their stats if you hit um or if you tap sorry on the controller i'm sorry i'm talking about the controller if you hit start and then if you hit triangle on the controller you can edit their tendos um and you have to hit start again which is quick edit start like or uh, yeah start is quick edit for everything sorry if i'm getting my words mixed up i'm going fast again but um in quick edit you just hit triangle again you can update the uh, tendencies everything so players don't get mad because they're taking one shot a game because 2k made jared jared vanderbilt's um shot tendency of 30 meanwhile i mean he's not averaging the craziest numbers but having an nba player shot tendency at 30 is just gonna go wrong in this game but um let me put y'all on to with the player dna real quick or show y'all how this works so i go to a role player right here at the end of the bench this is how i do most of my videos where i have michael jordan team up with lebron james kobe bryant team up with lebron james i go into player dna and take one of the lowest rated players on the team who probably won't even be in the league next year i hit import dna and i load the nba player you can obviously you can go to hot and you can see all these guys right here like jay cole is in here um victor webinana mikey williams charles barkley um leangelo ball Bronny james reggie miller like all these type of guys but i like to go into my files and y'all see i have all these still um where's the example so here's the example for the video which was prime kobe or not prime kobe bryant but pro b basically and um boom he's in he's in the jazz right here like 98 overall same stats same badges same everything that this is probably one of the best additions to 2k low key within a like i don't know when they added it i know it was definitely in the game last year i know it was in the game the year before i think it's been in the game for a while but still one of the best additions to this game in general because you could take whatever player you want from the magic and bird era and put them in the modern era you could take any player from the modern era put them in the magic and bird era um let me going into that let me show you all the settings real quick for the mainly for the career sim this is what i use for the career sim nothing else like if y'all want to do a rebuild do not use these settings for a rebuild um career sim everything on everything on it's it's all automated um so you can get through the season very fast when i do these career sim videos i personally i don't like to sit in the season for 15 minutes where they're where they're offering me trades like jonas valanchunas for jalen brunson like i i want to like that's realistic at all but they're offering me some dumb trade and i just don't want to sit there and watch that so if you guys want to do simulations like my videos on how i do all these simulations like i'm bringing out a couple simulation videos this week um these are the settings that i use for this i just put everything on automation and and yeah but obviously if you want to do a rebuild you don't do that and if you want to have a fun simulation like a fun rebuild or whatever turn injuries off simple as that turn the moral and chemistry off um i forgot where that is in these settings but it's in the role playing aspects in the or role playing elements whatever you want to call it in like the the um my mba whatever so um that's really just about it to be honest there's really nothing else like if you want your um ticker to be higher um this is basically the just the simulation speed so you want it at fastest if you want it, like you know like fastest because it goes through right here you see how fast it is is you know simple as that so yeah if you want that up put that up if you don't care about it don't it doesn't matter i just thought i would bring this video out just for the people who want to make videos like this who want to you know do career sims who want to do everything this will be a shorter video this probably won't hit monetization at all so don't worry y'all aren't gonna get hit with three ads whenever i do get monetized in the future but um yeah i just thought like F it. I'm just going to make a, a simple video today um, and show y'all how to do everything that I do. Um, if y'all want me to, like if y'all watching to this point of the video, if y'all want me to bring out how I make my thumbnails, because my thumbnails, 
they aren't anything insane like they I, I get it that some people you know like y'all like the thumbnails i can see like y'all like them but they aren't anything crazy they're pretty simple i can show y'all how to make them once y'all get in the groove of it it takes maybe about five minutes to make the thumbnails that i make um yeah if y'all want that let me know thank you guys for the support recently thank you guys so much for the support recently um ever since i changed the style of my videos this, this whole YouTube thing has been popping off, in my opinion. I know some videos don't do as well as others. I don't even care. I'm happy making these type of videos. If y'all didn't see at the end of the build videos, I wasn't happy making those type of videos anymore. I fell out of love with it and everything. Um, I have special videos coming up. This week is just going to be career sims. So Wednesday and Friday will be two career sims. I have a special video coming up that will not be on 2K, but will be on another sports game. Um and will be a career sim of something that's trending right now just something different it's gonna be a longer video probably um and that's why i'm not making it today because i'm making multiple videos today and when i make that video i want it just to i want to put a lot of time and effort into that um there's nothing really else i gotta update y'all about it's gonna be just rolling through december um trying to trying to get up to the goal i set i don't really set goals but you know i want to hit a certain amount of everything at a certain time so um yeah we'll see how that goes and i got more creative stuff coming very soon and um thank y'all for the support again it's been grateful and i'm out peace